2019 has seen some incredible growth in technology. There has been a massive rise in tech innovations in the fields of artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain and cyber security among others. Such a monumental rise has paved the way for more innovations. So here are a few technologies that you should look out for in 2020. AI as a service. The advent of artificial intelligence has changed our perception of technology. It has proven to be one of the most transformative tech evolutions today. According to top experts in the field, the growth of AI knows no boundaries and will continue to expand its horizon in 2020. During the next year, we will see wider adoption and many more companies delivering AI applications for specific tasks. Now let's see what the Google CEO has to say about AI. AI is probably the most important thing humanity has ever worked on. Now I think of it as something more profound than electricity or fire, and any time you work with technology, you need to learn to harness the benefits and while minimizing the downsides you know stepping back when you think about you know a lot of problems in the world today it's because we typically have a constraint on resources ai for the first time i think over time offers a different construct things which are constrained and look like a zero sum game today may not be so in the future take education for example it's really difficult to educate people in a cost effective way AI may fundamentally change the equation. 5G, the fifth generation mobile network, will not only interconnect people but also interconnect and control objects and devices. Although 5G mobile data networks became available in 2019, they are mostly still expensive and limited to functioning in major cities. Now let's see what Hamid Falaki, a technical architect, has to say about 5G networks. So when do we expect 5G networks to roll out? Well, 2020 is a target for many stakeholders. Um, however, some early uh, movers, like uh, in South Korea, they intend to have it all in in action in the Winter Olympic 2018. 5G is is going to provide um, um, an experience to the end user that it has an infinite bandwidth of connectivity to the network, and it has instantaneous access to the service. The opportunity that 5G brings uh, is the value that the end user will receive. As a consumer, uh, it will have the trust in the network that the the data uh, that is given by its car, by its phone, by its laptop, by it's all going into one network and, and under one identity and under one security umbrella. It's a holistic security approach that must be carried in a 5G network. That is how I see um, all that variety here, from e-health to Um, the the washing machine, connected washing machine or connected uh, TV to the house, will enable the end user to feel trusted with the network. Well, undoubtedly, 2020 will be the year when 5G makes its mark across the globe with more affordable data plans and more improved coverage. Autonomous driving. The fact that self-driving cars are coming to life has left everyone awestruck. Although we do not routinely travel in or see them, 2020 will mark a pivotal year for new innovations. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and a bunch of other futuristic startups, said that he anticipates completion of fully autonomous technology by the end of 2019 and their self-driving vehicles being so advanced in 2020 that the driver can practically take a nap. Let's have a look at what Elon Musk has to say. My guess as to when we would think it's safe for somebody to essentially fall asleep and wake up the destination probably towards the end of next year that's that's when I, when i would think it's most likely it will be safe enough for that i don't know when regulators will agree personalized and predictive medicine technological advancements in healthcare have saved countless patients and are continuously improving our quality of life Advances in machine learning, artificial intelligence and massive genetic sequencing will lead the way to personalized healthcare. In 2020, combined with AI and ML, our ability to apply medical knowledge across vast data sets will generate valuable new insights allowing doctors to precisely prescribe customized medication. Here's what top companies like Google are doing to help improve predictive medicine. Another area where AI can help is to actually help doctors predict medical events. Turns out doctors have a lot of difficult decisions to make and for them getting advance notice say 24 to 48 hours before a patient is likely to get very sick 
has a tremendous difference in the outcome. And so we have put our machine learning systems to work. We've been working with our partners using de-identified medical records. And it turns out if you go and analyze over 100,000 data points per patient, more than any single doctor could analyze, we can actually quantitatively predict the chance of readmission 24 to 48 hours before earlier than traditional methods. It gives doctors more time to act. Computer vision. I'm sure everybody has heard about Amazon Go, Google Lens, and face recognition. The critical factor making all this possible is computer vision. In simple words, CV is a field of artificial intelligence that trains machines to see and interpret the visual world. Let's see a short clip to understand computer vision better. Similar to speech, we are seeing great improvements in computer vision. So when we look at a picture like this, we are able to understand the attributes behind the picture. We realize it's your boy in a birthday party. There was cake and family involved, and your boy was happy. So we can understand all that better now. And our computer vision systems now, for the task of image recognition, are even better than humans. Computer vision is fundamental to the way autonomous cars work since they have to see and navigate their way. With more advancements in 2020, computer vision is bound to steal the spotlight. Extended reality. Augmented reality, virtual reality and mixed reality are the commonly heard buzzwords these days. And these emergent technologies fall inside a single framework called extended reality. Although AR and VR offer a wide range of revolutionary experiences, the same underlying technologies are powering extended reality today. In 2020, AR and VR will become increasingly prevalent for training and simulation and business purposes. Here's what the CTO of Accenture has to say about extended reality. Paul, extended reality, what do we mean by that term? Extended reality is, uh, is our way of looking at what's happening with human inter interaction more broadly. So it's talking about uh, virtual reality, mixed reality, augmented reality, gesture-based computing, all the, the new ways that we have to, to interact with, with technology. And it, is, it really it does create you know, a different reality, a different way with interacting with technology and, and with information, which is why we, we call it extended reality. AI products. AI products are all the craze now. Products like Alter Ego, a mind-reading wearable, and robots like Sophia are only a glimpse into how big AI technology will get in 2020. These products will storm the market for commercial usage and business purposes. Companies like Domino's and DoorDash are excessively experimenting with drones and robot delivery. Here's Sophia, a human-like robot, introducing herself at a conference. Good afternoon. My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. Thank you for having me here and at the Future Investment Initiative. You look happy. I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told that people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in inviting in future initiatives, which means AI, which means me. So I'm more than happy. I'm excited. Automation. It's no doubt that technology is advancing towards total automation. And it has already had us welcome cashless Amazon Go stores across the US. Let's have a look at it. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. According to CNBC, there will be 3,000 cashless Amazon Go stores by 2021. Automation was also highlighted in Gartner's recently published Top 10 Strategic Technology Trends for 2020. Other technology trends like blockchain, cryptocurrency, robotics and data policing among others are something to look out for in the coming year. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. Make sure to like and share it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.